Lights out, and away we go for round 17. Luke's got a decent side. I think Drake might have had the better side on Carter. He's trying to go round the outside. Oh, but Jonathan's gone down the inside. They've both gone off track. Jonathan's gone down the inside. They've both gone off track, the Haas and the McLaren. But Jonathan's jumped the two of them going into second place now. It's an Alpine 1-2 right now. And Luke will be asking his teammate to hold those behind up. As Carter's still trying to get on the mediums. As they head down into turn seven. Who's going to have the better line? Carter on the outside. But Drake breaks later, and he keeps the position for now. So the spicing in the back between Beaker and Yenap. So the position for now. So the spicing in the back between Beaker and Yenap. So I think that's Beaker overtaking, or maybe keeping the position ahead of the Aston Martin. And uh, up at the front, uh, Carter Lundy and Yonte had a little tussle. Carter kept his position. No DRS just yet. But Slipstream is almighty powerful down here, so will he launch one up on the inside here? Carter's got defensive in the middle. Yonce's going to have to last be the last late break. has cut in there a little bit, maybe get a warning. And that is job done. Thomas has already pitted on lap one, seemingly for damage from last place. Uh, that's Brownie and Cody going side by side. It's Marcus, is, there's been a crash. Marcus and he's like going to be the first safety car. It's a virtual safety car. Been a crash. Wow. Marcus and he's like going to be the first safety car. It's a virtual safety car. Wow, both those cars are stuck then, in the middle of the track as well, mate, on turn eight. That's a collision between yeah. both of them. Safety yeah, I was car. hoping it's Thomas full. would catch up in time. Yep, it's gone from VSC to full safety car. I'll be uh, your Ted. Luke is coming in. Yeah. Luke I, I... is coming in from the lead of the race, and Jonathan has slowed up the rest of the pack so that he can come in as well. I have to being... push that brake pedal. Anyway, nobody has to push that brake pedal right now. Drake has hit the gas pedal. Yep, and he has gone indeed, trying to see if he can catch anyone him. out. He hasn't really caught Carter, but Carter has maybe caught a daisy out of that. Good like Danico maybe go from your turn one. Nope. He stays where he is for the time being, possible now. And similar to the start of the race, I wouldn't be surprised if he's asking Chen Jay's teammate behind if he can just be maybe a bit of a roadblock to those going side by side through turn eight. He's going to come out on top. You know, technically has the better line, but it's very difficult to overtake that. Cody side by side. This could actually be a three. Oh, very close to the fence on that one. We know they've got the fresh boots on, but Thomas and Will Gibson just in the background there, mate. Well, action all over the place. That's what you expect in Singapore. Yeah. As it goes on. So, Cody going for a move on Yonti down at turn one. Breaks a tinty bit later. I think Yonti's going to give up the position. No, he's fighting back around the outside, turn three. But, uh, no, can't do anything about the superior traction that Cody has. And now Thomas, so I think the Aston Martin is fine. Will, it, uh, Will Gibson... Just watching this go on is he go oh, around the outside a bit tight they're going off track is he going to send it down the inside yes it is and again just a tend to be over contact yonti is being overtaken left right center here so he hasn't got a great exit out of this corner Aiming down into turn 10 there's a bit of contact again this is yeah I, oh oh that's messy that was very messy from will and uh what have they expected luke to get past by now but we'll see it's cody already going for a move on chenji down at turn one he knows if Chenji gets that DRS on his teammates, it's going to be a long time before the Red Bull gets passed. So yeah, that's up, up into eighth and once again. Luke Smith so far though. We'll have to wait a bit. It's, there we go. Thomas is getting that move done on Chenji. And uh, yeah, he is indeed following the Cody trade for the hards under that safety car so that if they can go to the end, um, then yeah, they don't need to make another pit stop and they can prime on those that do need to make a pit stop. After better traction, peasant. Um, <laughs> anyway. So we head towards the end of lap eight. So we're getting near the one third way of the race. Thomas, I mean, I think Thomas did try. Well, to... Cody's yeah. broken later on the outside. He's trying to keep the position nearly into the wall from Thomas. Um, but the after tower is through. Is turn right. nine. Getting a bit iffy. Give each other space. And so this is now given the Thomas maybe the chance that Cody didn't have. We've seen Thomas is more likely to go for moves than Cody so far. Six minutes Sets away. Yeah. Um, so they, they would need like what maybe five or six more safety cars for <laughs> that to happen. He's also trying to go for it down the inside. Is, is this finally the time Luke gets the move done? No, he's been squeezed right up to the wall by Beaker. Now this. So you got to get an, probably the easiest overtake would be and turn seven. Oh, it? Beaker's got round Ooh, last yep. corner and the exit. Has he gone into the barrier? Yeah, he's lost his whole front wing, That's a and the car, race has it? gone from. No, no, he's not out. He's just lost his front wing. But that is effectively... Absolutely. There's been some moves at the top. Danico's gone past a daisy. 
and Thomas has got past Luke. Action happening on lap 12. A lot of there. trouble if he can't get the kind of gap he has now again in like what one or two laps worth of time. But Thomas right on the back of Brownie. This is probably going to be the move for fifth place. He's made so many positions. What, when did, where did he sign like 50? Slowly that little bit of a lap. He's, he's got about two tenths per lap he's getting on Carter. So he's fine. Thomas is now on the back of the flying fin of a Desi. Can he find a way past? Point, and that's definitely jumped up for Thomas. But you are remember, Thomas is got. I don't think he can stretch these tires to the end of the race. He has made that pit stop over everybody else. But uh, that's the reason why he needs to everybody get on. on those hard tires at the moment. You see, in the top six. Oh, Thomas is uh, getting past. He's already Danny made it past Danico. So very quick, smooth movement. But now this is the two. He's getting super close. This could be an overtake opportunity. Oh, Brownie, his elbows out, bit of bumping and grinding. That's what you get around here in Singapore. It's hot and sweaty. Between Thomas and Cody, they're on the same tyres. Cody's actually technically one lap younger, and yet Cody still hasn't even been able to get past Luke yet. So, I, would you say that's more just care for taking time bomb for Thomas as to whether he comes in? Because the longer he stays out, the more Drake's going to be able to gain. So, he really needs to get past Carter now and just get as uh, much as something happened to it's Brownie. Brownie. Has he lost any front wing? We're gonna have to wait and see. No, his front wing looks perfectly fine. And an overtake for uh, Thomas to Carter as well when that happened. Brownie spin. Yeah, so apologies for missing the overtake. But come in. So those who started on the hard side to come in, so I wouldn't be surprised if the likes of Carter or Danny don't come in soon. Uh, of course, Luke trying to go to the end of the race, so. Yes, he is. Yeah. And so is Thomas. Thomas has also already come in. And uh, yeah, he's definitely going on the mediums. There we go. Yep, there's the yellow set tyres from the Alfie Tari team. We'll see just how far behind he's going to do it now, yeah. surely. Around the outside. Yep, I think Yenam yeah, was pretty much letting him through. No point fighting it. And now Drake goes hunting after those top three of the two Alpines and Danny. As you can see, Danico puts on a set of the medium tyres as we expected. And, uh, yeah, Drake now up into third. Yeah, this is what he's going to do. You're so, right. Look at this. Bang. Open up the letterbox. 17 kilometers an hour. And that will be bye-bye. Mr. Yenna. Another pit stop. And uh, it's crunch time now for the house driver with Thomas less than eight seconds behind. Oh, they're Still blocking. Going so has a good, what, third of his ERS left. So really, it's, it's the ERS that's hurting him because, yeah, in the corners, he's much quicker. And is he's going to try to send it here? Nope. But he does get Luke into a lockup. He's going to be cool. So and calm. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I, I so, think he needs At the moment, it looks like he's just going to have to dive it down in one of the corners. So this could be his chance down into turn 13. Nope, keeps it back. Like he's going to have a better exit, better traction. Oh, it's Cody. Cody's gone round. That's uh, that's after the bridge just before turn 13. No damage, but luckily he lives to see another day. This is definitely frustrating, Drake. Uh, he, he, he's... Yeah, I, I, he doesn't need, like here. He, he's using overtake when he just doesn't need to. What what he needs to do is just not so use. At the moment, the Alpine. So and, and just, I we've completely been missing this. Look how much Thomas has been catching. He was just under eight seconds behind Ooh, when we last looked. Now, it's so less than three sorry. seconds. Sorry. Oh, he's no, yeah, left can, yeah. Oh, Drake's he's trying to go for it. Here we go. Um, but yeah, we're talking and about your ass. Thomas yep. has the party! Oh! Fast. Oh, I, I don't know Thomas if that was... Thomas is now a... going for the race win. This is it. He's like, okay, Drake, you had your shot. You had your chance. Now it's up to me to see if I can get past the almighty Alpine blocking team here this evening. So, Thomas needs to let... Oh! oh. oh. Thomas going to keep it easy. And look, that's yeah. why Drake back through on the inside. So, Drake, uh, Drake, you need to not let... He needs to let Thomas get through Luke. when Thomas was flying with Cody. He is he's not gonna back away from just sending it if he has the chance. So unlike Drake, who didn't really go for it during any corners, Thomas is absolutely the kind of guy. He's very close here. I think they're fine, I think they're fine. Yeah, there we go. Thomas is finally Luke Smith has been overtaken and now that leaves him vulnerable to Drake. Because if Thomas can pull away, he's not going to slow down like Chen Jie has been to give him DRS. I've been using overtake, so maybe Thomas is waiting for when he has a bit more to attack with. 
But uh, yeah, Luke nowhere near in as comfortable a spot as he was just a couple laps ago. Drake is trying to send... No, I think he's trying to just scare Luke there. A certain amount without losing the position himself. Nearly lost it there. And uh, yeah, Thomas is just all over the back of the Alpine. And uh, it's all these trying guys to get around. need to not be fighting if they don't want to lose Luke. I, I don't understand why they're fighting so much. They're not each other's enemy. They need to get past the Alpines. The inside to try and keep the position. Luke, I think, almost trying to get the position back from Thomas. He is trying. Yeah, now Chet. <laughs> oh, he is. Oh, there's a bit of a tap from Jake behind. And this is a six-way fight for the lead of a race. Thomas ran the outside. And again, Chendry has to send it down the inside. But Thomas gets the better exit. Turn in the corner. Has Drake kept it? He has. Oh, it's one for the highlight reel. Danny Coe is actually going to go around the outside there of Drake. Oh, my God. I had yes, that he one. He sent it a fair bit late on the break. Thomas trying to hang it around the outside. He has to go off the track. Wasn't given any room. Chinji trying to hang it around the outside. And it looks like Chinji will actually get it back. As Thomas gets a bit of a bump from behind. From yeah, no, no. In terms yeah. of that, I love it. In terms of the, the thing of what might happen because of this. Yeah, not so much. Oh, it's, so, it's getting feisty, isn't it? Like, yeah, it let's is, hope it's, it's clean. Thomas going for it again. Chen Jay is not going to give it up. Not at all. Chen Jay says, we like, don't know. Yeah, round the final corner, onto the last lap. Technically, six drivers in the running for this, really four. But anyway, here we go. Thomas with the DRS. Close up a bit. Probably decide who wins this race. Thomas with the DRS. He's using up all his DRS. He's gaining massively to the inside line. He's got past for now. Will Chenji try and send it around the outside? I think he wanted to. Wasn't quite able. Here we go. John, he's going to have to try and send it to the inside. A bit of contact. So oh, he's been half. And... Oh. Absolutely cooked on Chenji. You can see it sliding around. This is it. The only opportunity. Thomas is going to get an overtake. Danny Card has got enough power. Chenji is going to win the race. And there we go. That's Chen Jay winning the race from Thomas from Car. Chen Jay was just that little bit more faster and towards the end, they held him off there from P4 to P1, but Thomas from P15 to P2. What a race.